we are here on Rhone Glacier and we are monitoring the change in this glacier from year to year, from season to season, to document its response to climate change. We have a network of stakes that are drilled into the ice where we determine the melting of the glacier from year to year. When the glacier will be melting, which is at the moment a speed of about 5 to 10 centimeters a day, um, this pole will re-emerge and when we return the next time we can just very exactly determine at this position how much ice has been uh, melted. When we drilled this stake in the last September, the ice surface was somewhere up here where my hand is and now this is already melted. So. 30 years ago, when the glaciers were still in a more healthy state, uh, we would have maybe like 4 meters of ice loss per year. In the extreme year of 22, you've seen almost 10 meters of vertical ice lowering in one single year. In recent years, we realized at several sites that there is a substantive melt from the bottom. Um, these new processes like holes in the cheese are becoming more important. And these holes are collapsing and it's not good for the glacier. If glaciers melt, in combination of course with the big ice masses in the polar regions, global sea levels are affected. It's the Netherlands that would disappear, but also big cities along the coast like New York or Beijing. Everybody can contribute on their own. Um, to reduce CO2 emissions as far as possible. This will not help this glacier immediately, but it will help all glaciers in the long range. It's time to act now.